Hello chess lovers, Soren here and from the ongoing 2019 FIDE World Cup I would like to share with you the first tiebreak game played between Chinese chess grandmaster Ding Liren and Russian chess grandmaster Kirill Alexeyenko. The first two classical games ended up in a draw and as I already mentioned this is the first tiebreak game. This game was played with 25 minutes plus 10 seconds increment and Dingleren who was playing with the white pieces opened up with English opening c4. Alexenko responded with e5, this is called the reversed Sicilian g3 knight c6, knight c3 g6, bishop g2, d6 e3, bishop g7, Knight e2. The way white pieces are placed, this reminds me of reversed close Sicilian. h5, black wants to go for h4 advancement. Of course, white could allow that and play d4, but in our game we have h4. The Engleran stopped the h pawn's further advancement, bishop e6. I have to tell you that in here the main move is considered to be bishop g4, but in our game we have bishop e6, b3, knight f6 d4, e takes d4, e takes d4, bishop g4. Well, already at this point, now the threat is d5, forking black pieces, that's why. Alexenko played bishop g4, but he lost the precious time, you know, first played bishop e6 on move 7, and then bishop g4. Probably he should have gone for bishop g4 straight away. And in here, Dingley rank castled kingside, queen d7, bishop g5, like castles kingside, queen d2, we have an equal game, rook e8, rook e1, a6, d5, and a total blunder by Alexeyenko, knight e5, which is losing on the spot. It turns out that once this knight steps on e5 square, there are no safe retreating squares and black is losing a piece. Instead, it was better to put the knight on e7. But in our game we have knight e5 and after bishop takes f6, now if you recapture with your bishop then f4 is coming and you are losing a piece. That's why in here after bishop takes f6, Alexeyenko understood that he has nothing more to lose, his position is already lost and decided to make things complicated, he went for bishop takes e2, he wants to somewhat sharpen the position, but there is no way out, you know, bishop takes g7 is on the board, now if king takes g7, then rook takes e2, and white has an extra piece, that's why Alexenko kept on trying his luck, played bishop takes f1, but in here he stepped into queen h6, the threat is queen h8 check, mate f6, queen h8 check, king f7, and bishop takes f8. Here Alexeyanko played knight f3, but Ding Liren cold heartedly answered with bishop takes f3. Rook takes e1, bishop h6. Right now the threat is queen f8 checkmate. We have a discovered check, and after king h2, Alexeyanko neutralized the mating threat, but after c5 he resigned. Now, the idea of c5 is that knight d takes c5, then d6 is coming and white is freeing this d5 square for the bishop. If queen takes d6, then bishop d5 check and the game is over. You can even capture on e6 and you have an extra piece with a totally winning position. And actually I have to tell you that after c5 it's difficult to find a good continuation for black. Black is like in Tsuk Tsavang. Let's just make a random move. If rook f1, then queen g7 check is coming. Yes, and then c6 check. And black king is getting checkmated. That's why after c5, Alexeyenko resigned. I have to tell you that Dingleren also managed to win the second rapid game. And he eliminated Alexeyenko from FIDE World Cup 2019. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.